Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm reviewing this GK61 keyboard that I bought on Banggood for $60. If you haven't already, hit that like button and also while you're down there, check if you're subscribed because sometimes YouTube likes to unsubscribe people for no obvious reason, so just make sure you're subscribed. Okay, let's get right into the unboxing and review. This is the box. It has serial number stuff. It has made by Jikedingzi. Yeah, let's get into the box. Like I said, this is the GK61. There it is. I got the white version with the red switches. So it is quiet, but like medium stiffness. This is the keyboard. It has some nice clickiness. These stabilizers aren't very loud, but they're a bit loud. But it feels really nice. The first mod I want to do is put foam in the bottom so there's less like tinginess of the springs. And yeah, now let's move on to the rest of the box. In the rest of the box we have a cable and another box with keycap puller and switch puller and that's all that's in the box let's talk about this cable it is pretty nice it is 1.5 meters um, the ends are like kind of gold plated kind of not the keyboard has a USB type C connection this plugs into your computer and it looks very clean on your desk and you can buy this keyboard with black or white so you can have black and white like case and keycaps and you can get them in black switches blue switches brown switches red switches silver switches and yellow switches and they're all optical they're gateron opticals so if you like gateron opticals you get them and also the model the GK61 obviously, the keycaps are ABS two color injection. So if I grab my little keycap puller, you can see the ABS, there's like clear here. And then this is white, so you can actually see through the keycap. I don't know if you can see that, it's pretty hard to see. The, the bottom of it is also ABS. So this bottom is ABS. Backlight is full RGB and it can do every single color of RGB. It's 61 keys, hence the name GK61. It has a Type-C interface, like I just said. Its size is around 30 centimeters by 10 centimeters by four centimeters. It weighs just under a kilogram, set 0.78 kilograms. It supports Windows 10, but does not support Mac, sadly. They say it's IP68 waterproof, I doubt that. It says optical switches can last twice as long as normal switches because there's like no fatigue. And it says that these buttons can be clicked a hundred million times, which I assume that's correct. Um, it has a microphone under the space bar that like lights up the keyboard and makes it all colorful when there's a ton of noise. You can add macros. There's three layers, so there's like the first layer of just like the typing keys. Then there is the FN, like blah, blah, blah. And then there's another layer, which I don't know how to do that layer. And it's another layer of keys, which is awesome. It has a 32-bit CPU, I guess you could say, in here, which controls all the stuff. And here you can actually see the like whole setup. There is the MCU, there's the megabytes of flash for offline lighting, and then there's the RGB chips, which give you all the effects. And speaking of the effects, I'll plug this keyboard in, and also turn off the lights so you guys can see it better. Okay, I turned down the lights, you can see the RGB way better now, and I'll cycle through the modes for you. This one is like a circle of RGB. This one has the arrow keys in red and everything else green. This is like white. 
And then this is like all the keys synchronized at the same time. And then it just goes more. And then this is the keys you press, they light up. And then once you let go, they unlight. So you can see if I go like that, they kind of light up and then go away. This one, you click keys and they shoot out. And you can see all this. The next one is it like shoots out both ways. And then this is the noise one. So if I yell pretty loud, it goes higher. And if I smack the space bar, it goes up. So you can see the levels. And we're back where we are. I'm just gonna personally use this all the time. And there's also turning off. There's a media key, so you click FN over here. And you can do all the media keys. And there's also these. The ones in gray are all the stuff you can do like under on, with, by clicking FN. So you can lock, you can sleep, you can do arrow keys. You can do everything that like a 10 keyless or like a full keyboard could do on like a small keyboard. So that's very nice. Now, if you guys need a sound test, I'll put it right now. As you can see, it's very nice. Sounds really good. Um, it is way quieter than blue switches. It was very quiet. And I could lube these more, but the stabilizer's already lubed. So that, that makes them really nice. And the shift key and all that would feel really nice. I opened the case and checked. There's no battery on here. I don't know why it has Bluetooth. Um, these are your different mode, like you can have three different pro profiles, and then this is like your onboard profile. These are connected to the driver. Um, you click all these arrow keys by clicking FN, and you go like this. It's kind of annoying, but it's set up pretty well, so you just use your index, metal, and ring for all the arrows, and then you use pinky for function. So you, I assume you could play your game or whatever pretty well like just like this but the keys are different sizes because the up key is smaller than all the others so it's a bit jank but yeah and yeah that's about it there's also bluetooth by clicking these but i don't know why you would use bluetooth because this doesn't have a battery on it i checked thank you guys for watching if you haven't already, make sure to go down in the description and mash that subscribe button and mash that like button so I can grow.